Hi, welcome to Amy's Bag Adventures. I'm Amy Primo, an independent consultant with 31 Gifts. Today I want to show you how to personalize an item through my website. You know that you're on my website because here in the upper right is my name and my picture. If you followed a link, you probably are already shopping with a party, but if not, on the left you can choose Amy's Parties click on that and it will show you any of the parties I currently have open right now I only have the one but you can choose any party because with direct ship then it will ship directly to you even if you don't live near the hostess So I'm just going to choose this party it will take you right back to the main screen if you have an account I would recommend logging in and up here in the upper right the person icon changes color. So if you do not have an account, it is actually a black silhouette. When you click on that and either sign in or create your account, it changes to a white silhouette in a black circle. Okay. Next to that is our shopping bag. It's a little bag and the number in red is how many items are in your order. That number will change as you add items to your bag. So I just want to show you how to do the personalization. I am going to go in and let's see. Now the personalization has been updated this year so it's going to look different on different bags. I'm going to start with the signature tote because that is one that the personalization is in a new place. So you choose your item, you choose your print, and click Personalize. That is going to open the Personalization Studio. It's just going to take a minute. Now, on this particular bag, we are limited basically to monograms. And I want to show you this generator, this um, preview, is going to show you where the personalization appears. So you can see the personalization for this appears between the two handle straps at the top. I'm just going to show you, um, you choose whatever design you want. So I'm just going to kind of click through the designs so that you can see how it looks on this bag. So this is all uppercase. This is great if you want to do your initials, but maybe not in a traditional monogram format, because I dislike mine in the traditional monogram format, and I will show you why. If you have a three letter name, like I do, you could do your three letters. There's the circle monogram. Here is the embellished, the serif embellished, the old world monogram, the traditional monogram, and the message but the message you can only have up to three letters. Okay, so message and uppercase are basically the same on this bag. Now let's look at what it's going to look like. So after you choose your style, you're going to come down here to choose text and color and click on that. And this is where, so for instance, I have this bag, I personalized it with my three initials, so you just type them in. And I type my initials the way they appear. So first name, middle name, last name. Because, let me just show you, if I do the traditional monogram, I end up with that. And nobody wants to carry a bag, or at least I don't want to carry a bag that says AEP. So I do it AEP. It is whatever makes you happiest and whatever you like the look of. So we're going to do AEP. 
Then you come over to your color and choose whatever color you want. Now you can go through this. So I've got black, here's white. If you're looking for something more tone on tone, you can look at the uh, brown, that's a cappuccino. This is red. So you just go through and play with whatever color you would like. And then in this particular style, you can also choose your font. So this is block font, curled script. That one looks like it's like running from something, at least with my initials. Blackboard, fun dots, headline. Now you can see, choose the different fonts you choose. So for instance, in fun dots, it's a lot smaller, but headline is a bigger, bolder font, so it looks more bold. Here's rounded, and there's all caps. You just choose whatever you want. Now maybe I've decided I'm not really thrilled with that personalization. Let's go back up here to the monogram. I really want it to look more like a monogram. So you just go back to your designs, switch your design, choose your text and color, and here's what I'm going to show you. Traditional monograms are first initial, last initial, middle initial. And now you know why I don't use it. But if that's what you wanted your bag to be, you absolutely could. You can change your color, you can change the design. In this one, it is just one font. Okay, we're going to go back up and choose another one. So you don't like it, you just go back up to choose personalization and choose something else. I am going to choose the embellished. I like that one. Go back to choose text and color. I'm going to use the A for color. I kind of like this color. And here again, you have the different fonts. So you have the black block, you have curled script, blackboard, fun dots, headline, and you can see, depending on which font you choose, how bold your personalization will be. And here's what I realize. I don't really care for that brown print. That's why I'm not loving the bag. So you can change that too. Come back up to step one, choose product print. I am going to choose this one. Well, now I'm not really loving that A. So then you can just come back through, choose your personalization. If you like that personalization, but maybe not the color, then you can come through and change it. You could change it to be anything you wanted it to be. If you're looking to do more of a tone on tone, you could do that. Once you have it the way you want it, then you just click step four, save and add to cart. It's going to take it just a minute, but when you come up here, now your shopping cart says, your shopping bag says there is one item. If you click on that, it's going to give you like a little preview of what is in your shopping bag. So here it says the signature tote in the color and it says personalized and shows the price. Now, because that personalizing that tote took it over 100, you also see this message. Congrats, you've earned 50% off two regular priced items. So, Let's go into the checkout. We are going to add an item. And I want to show you the personalization on the wallets because that's a little bit different. And you can scroll through or you can um, you know, just 
search. I'm just going to go up here to search because it's easier. So I'm looking for the Benjamin's wallet. If you type in Benjamin's, it's going to pop up all about the Benjamin's. And I'm going to choose the smooth. I'm going to personalize it. The wallets have print personalization, not embroidery. So the colors and the options are a little bit different. Here are your options. I'm going to choose this one. And then you can go into your design color. You may want to look at putting your text in before you do the design color and you can always come back to that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the text and color. Look at how it is written here because your first line in this particular design is actually going to be the one that overlaps. Okay, so you want your the line, the line that is in the back is the second line. All right. So I like this one. This is like, kind of like a little pep talk I give myself. Okay. So I've got actually, I can, but I had to type actually in the second spot. And here you can change your colors. So I'm going to do I am not loving Let's, and if you like the colors but you want them reversed, just go back up and change it. So I'm going to do that one and then I'm going to do this one. Okay. However you want it to look. When you have it ready, you just click Save and Add to Cart. And now your shopping bag says two. If you click on it, it gives you a little pers you know, the little preview. You can proceed to checkout. So you can see by adding the wallet, it then moved the tote to half price. The personalization is not included in the half price. Okay, that is the same price but it moved it. So now I'm paying full price for the wallet and half price for the tote. And I want to do just one more. And I am going to do it this way. We're going to add a tapered pouch. Okay, I'm going to go in and I think add this tapered pouch. We're going to personalize it. And on this one, I want to do an icon. All right. So you come over here to your personalization and you can either choose all and just scroll through. If you know specifically what you're looking for, you can do animals, careers, hobbies, country, food and beverage, um, logos, monograms, nature and florals. I want to do animals because I do know what one I'm looking for. So then everything that is an animal is going to pop up and you choose the one you want. I'm choosing the floral unicorn, the design color. So watch what happens when I change these colors. Right now it's set at hot pink and black. When I change the black, it becomes this light purple. 
Now the eyelashes are still showing as black, so I might change that print so that it shows up because the eyelashes you cannot change. There we go. All right. Now, some of the icons you can do with no text or up to two lines. This is actually one you can only choose with one line. So once you have your personalization, choose your text and color. And I'm going to add a line of text. And you can see that this color ties back to the design. If I change this color, it's going to change it in both places. Okay. And then you can choose your font. as well. Okay. When you're done, just save and add to cart. This is going to refresh. And then let's go and look at our cart and see where we stand. Anytime you want to look at the full cart, not just the preview, just click proceed to check out. Okay, so this shows I've earned two items half price. And it shows, so it says your cart qualifies for 50% off two regular priced items, and I've added one of two. Okay, now let's say when you're looking at this and you think, you know, I really don't care for the personalization on that tote. I think that tote is pretty. I don't want the personalization. Just come down here and it will show you how you personalized it. If you don't want it, just click remove. If you want to edit it, you can edit it right from the screen too. So if I click remove, that's going to take it off and you're ready to go. Then just when you're ready, begin checkout and follow the prompts. When you get to the screen where it says to ship, choose direct ship or ship to me, which would be you. And then, you know, enter your credit card information. At the very end of your order, it will give you an option to either submit or submit order. Make sure you click that button and then you should get a message that says, congratulations, your order has been submitted. If you have any questions or need any help with personalization or with placing an order, please just let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.